brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you alternator replacement. This is a 2003 Honda Civic with a 1.7 liter, and this alternator is basically the same for 2001 to 2005 Civic. As you'll need for this repair, new alternator from 1AAuto.com, 8 to 14 millimeter wrenches with sockets and extensions as well, pliers, flat blade screwdriver, possibly a pry bar, and penetrating oil. 10 millimeter wrench, loosen your negative battery cable first, pull it up and off and remove it. I'm going to loosen this 12 millimeter nut here, which will allow us to loosen up this wing nut, and then there's also a bolt right down here that we need to loosen. This 12 millimeter bolt on the front, pull your reservoir up and out of the way. And the bolt is right here. So just get your wrench down in. Just loosen that one up a little bit. And this is your adjusting screw. I'm going to hit it with a little penetrating oil down on the threads, pliers, just to get it to go. And you can turn it counterclockwise. And the pump should pivot down to loosen up the belt. Okay, with the belt off, remove this 10 millimeter bolt, remove the 12 millimeter nut the rest of the way, and the 12 millimeter bolt, and we'll pull the reservoir and pump up out of the way. A ratcheting wrench on this bolt will help. I have the nut off. Now I'm just trying to pull the bolt out of the underneath and the whole thing can come up and out of the way. Right down here, remove this from the bracket. There's just a little tab that you push down right down here. Or you actually, yeah, this tab right here. Push it down. That comes off, and then pull off this rubber boot here to expose the nut that holds the battery wire on. Get my finger up and out of there. Let's see the nut right there. And then you also want to remove this boot here to expose the harness connection. Press the tab on the side to release it and pull the connection out. Just use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to use that to help me press the tab on that connector and unplug the alternator. And use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the battery cable, the nut that holds the battery cable on. And this is where you want to make sure that you have your battery disconnected or there could be a lot of sparks. Then down below the alternator, there's a adjustment locking bolt right here. Remove that. Fourteen millimeter bolt. Here at the top of the alternator, loosen that. Now you have the adjustment bolt here, you see this wing nut, and you can use a pair of pliers, grab onto it and get it started and free, and then you loosen it up to 
so you can move the alternator around. So we've, we've loosened up the top one as well as the uh, locking bolt down at the bottom and the alternator is not showing any signs of moving. This appears to be the original alternator that's been in here for over 10 years. So it could be just the aluminum's kind of seized up this bracket. So I'm just going to use a uh, pry bar and try and break the seal a little bit. So that didn't work, so I'm actually just going to take this bolt all the way out. And we're just going to shoot the whole top where that bolt goes through with penetrating oil. Let it settle down in. In order to get this top alternator bolt out, you have to remove this 12 millimeter bolt and this bracket for the power steering reservoir. Pull this bolt out as far as it goes. We'll get the alternator to move out of here. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that this alternator has probably never been out of this car. So it's just not moving. It's kind of frozen in place. We've already removed the top bolt all the way we're going to now remove the bottom bolt all the way. Hopefully your vehicle, you don't have to do this. You should be able to just loosen this one, loosen the bottom one, and then turn the wing nut, which allows the alternator to go in and you can take the belt off. But we have to go a little further because this vehicle is in a little bit rougher shape. Okay, so we can slide the alternator down and the belt come up and off. Okay, so with the lower bolt out, this bolt pulled as far as you can. Use a good size pry bar. And pry the alternator out. And then you should be able to bring it up. So my adjuster bolt assembly is still frozen up, so I'm going to put a set of locking pliers on here and try and get it to come out and off. Okay, so I've got my adjuster cleaned up, so now it spins nice and freely in there. Just use a wire brush, clean off the surfaces that are going to rub together there, and then down here on the bracket. and we'll just apply a little bit of oil so that they can slide back and forth nice and easy. Okay, so put the bracket down in like that. Your adjuster bolt through and in. And you can put it through. I have about a centimeter show on the back side there old alternator that we took out of the vehicle. We do have to just change this bracket over to the new one. But you can see the important stuff is it's exactly the same. Connections are the same. New part from one L is gonna bolt right in and fix up your charging problem if you have one. Eight millimeter socket ratchet extension. Remove the bolt that holds this bracket. and install the bracket onto the new alternator. Okay, we're gonna lower it down in. Obviously this goes between the bracket up at the top. You wanna make sure the bottom goes in behind this bracket at the bottom. Let's get the top in. And 
just kind of work it around until we can get the bolt to go in. Get that bolt in and started. And then put it down into place. All right, just gonna get this bolt in most of the way, but you don't want to tighten it up yet. You still want your alternator to be able to move. Okay, I'm gonna use a mirror to help myself see. And you're looking from the bottom, I'm looking from the top. I'm just gonna try and position my bracket adjusting bracket in there correctly we'll tighten that up but not tight yet until we get the belt on and adjust it Feed the belt down in. And then you can either reach from the bottom or it's easy enough to get it from the top. Take it off the alternator. Get it on the crank first. Alternator AC and it's good. And then you can start tightening up your adjusting bolt. Okay, just pull your alternator up. Since you got everything greased well, it'll move easily and tighten up the wing nut for the adjuster. And tighten up that wing nut until your belt has about a quarter of an inch of play in it. So we're gonna tighten up the top bolt. We've got our belt adjusted where we want it. Tighten up here. And we'll tighten it up. Yeah, just get it good and tight. Don't over tighten it. And then we'll do the 12 millimeter bolt below. And replace the power steering reservoir bracket. Put your harnesses back down in place and reconnect. I'm just gonna get this connector on there a little bit and get the battery wire on there. Just so I know everything's fitting correctly. Okay, that's connected. And go back onto the bracket and then this goes on and hold the boot up while I put the 10 millimeter nut in place. Someday. Okay, tighten it up. Six foot pounds is the technical spec. Put that boot back in place and put this boot back down on the connector and in place. Okay, so before we put our power steering pump back in place, we're just gonna put this bolt right down in here. Bring the pump down. Okay, this stud goes right up through here. Push that through. Get this up like that, and the large washered nut goes on the back side of that. Put this bracket up in place, and 10 millimeter bolt. Down and in. 
and then push the stud through. You can see it coming out right down there. And put the 12 millimeter bolt back in place. Kind of hard to film without getting my big paws in the way, but. And just one, one we can tighten up before we put the belt on is this bolt on the top bracket here. Belt, just for now, just push it down in. We'll actually get it on the crank pulley below, um, from, from below. So we'll just put it down on and put it on the power steering pulley for now. You don't have to have your vehicle on a lift or the wheel, wheel and tire off. We just did it to make it easier to film. But what you want to do is reach up in here, you see the belt hanging down, and just guide it onto your crank pulley. Okay, now just pull up, and you can tighten up your tensioner. So tighten this up, check your tension. When you push down, you should only push down about a quarter of an inch on the belt. Use a pair of pliers on the wing nut if you need to. And then basically what you want to do is once you get the tension right, tighten up this upper nut, run the vehicle for about five minutes, check the tension again, adjust it if you need to, and tighten, make sure you tighten up this nut, and then tighten up the bottom 12 millimeter bolt that holds it. Tighten up the top 12 millimeter nut. Tighten up this 12 millimeter bolt. And getting the wrench on there is half the battle. And put your reservoir back in place. First, and then your negative cable. Tighten up. Tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also, check out our other helpful how to as well as diagnosis videos.